I got my tool, my favorite tool in the garden, and some coffee. I drank most of it already, but let's get started in my garden here. What am I doing today? What am I doing in my garden today? Deadheading. This is my Shasta Daisy, but I neglected it and boy does it look it. I have another one over here. The one thing you have to do with Shasta Daisies is deadhead them. So I gotta get to it or it won't bloom again. As a gardener, you're gonna make mistakes or your schedule gets busy and sometimes one particular plant may get neglected. So I want this to bloom again. So I'm looking to see where or how far I have to cut it down to. Like, so this one, it looks like I'm gonna have to cut it the whole way down to there so that it'll bloom again. Don't be afraid to trim your plants down a bit in order to get more blooms. You don't want the plant putting all its energy into this dead stalk here, and this is nothing either. So that's why I'm gonna probably give it a pretty good haircut. And then we'll come back later and see if it blooms. So remember, you're not cutting like this part off. That's not gonna help you. You wanna get the whole way down to like a nodule. See that little nodule right there? Right above it. Oh, oh my clippers aren't cutting. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Chop their heads off. Okay, I'm gonna do this one that's right in the front. I wanna get it the whole way down to the bottom there. So I'm hoping that's far enough down for that one. Oh, see, this is what you're looking for right there. I'm gonna cut the rest of this off. I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, going to the stalk right next to there. Now, the sun is, I mean, the leaf is blocking the sun there, but by the time I trim this back, then that'll have full sun, and I should get another bloom there. In fact, I'm gonna chop this off too. So have fun at the chopping, and you will be rewarded with more blooms. So don't worry about you know, forgetting about a plant or neglecting a plant or just not get to getting to it in time. I meant to do this a week ago, two weeks ago. I could have been doing it the whole time it was blooming, like being more meticulous about it, but so many things get in the way. And that's why I don't want people who are trying to garden to think that they have to be perfect or if they come and see it's all dead be like oh I missed my opportunity you didn't you can chop it all down and get more blooms Well, let's speed this up a bit. Let's speed it up a bit more. Almost done, only a couple more stalks. Okay, I probably should have filmed that from a different angle. You got 
pretty good view of my arm there. But as you can see, nice haircut. Everybody needs to get their hair trim every once in a while. And so do the plants. So I see buds all over. Let me zoom in on that one. So now they should be able to grow and bloom. Looking for, there's another one. Oh, it's right there. Let's go over to the second plant and do it over there too. I'm so serious. Chop, chop, chop them off. I see blooms already. I'm so glad I got to this one sooner and was able to trim it up. But that's all you have to do to take care of your Shasta daisies is enjoy them blooming. Make sure you come and deadhead them. Try to do it as often as you can. If you can't, like what happened to me, that's okay too. You're still able to enjoy more blooms as soon as you get the chance to trim off all of that, you know, dead spent blooms on it. Boy, oh boy, am I a neglectful gardener or what? One, some sort of insect is eating the crap out of this Shasta daisy. I didn't even see it as I'm walking back and forth because it's tucked in with my irises here, which is exactly where I wanted it to be. I also have to deadhead it, so let me deadhead it. I don't know if that's going to save it this year or not. It might bloom again. We'll see. It does look like something already like deadheaded these. It's kind of weird. Don't know what's going on. I'm going to give this a haircut. I'm not seeing any little buds on here. Probably because whatever attacked it the insects that attacked it kind of kind of killed it in a way i still want a deadheaded though okay we'll see what happens to this it'll definitely grow back next year because it is a perennial so maybe it'll come back stronger next year it's a couple weeks later and i'm back to give you an update on the shasta daisy it did not rebloom, at least not yet. If it blooms late in the season, I'll let you know. I am trying to grow my channel, so please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.